Hi guys, it's Intuitive144. I am a psychic medium along with being a physical medium, okay? So today I am going to be doing a reading on the energetic exchange between Nicki Minaj and Jay-Z, okay? Um, $40 for a picture reading, $72 for a 30-minute reading, and $144 for an hour reading. I have the mic in my hand because my hair is wet and I don't want the water to get into my mic, okay? So yeah. I'm just gonna work like that. All right. So I do want to say I meditated on their energy. Girl, this was a hard meditation session. I was supposed to post a reading Thursday. I was supposed to post a reading. I was supposed to post a reading Thursday, but I don't know. These are two tough energies, two tough hard 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 exteriors and it was just difficult but here we are okay so let's begin all right um anybody that i read on i like to lay down and meditate on their energy because i like when spirit shows me visions but in like a short film way um so yeah let's begin with jay-z energetic exchange between jay-z and Nicki minaj all right one thing about spirit they go straight in for the kill so this is everything that i'm gonna say is what i've seen felt and was told in the visions okay let's let's begin all right so the they show me a vision of jay-z all right so jay-z doesn't want Nicki minaj at the awards okay that's what they said all right so they show me a vision of Nicki minaj on the red carpet and the paparazzi only take about six to ten pictures of her which is not which is very strange because she's Nicki minaj right but she's confused about this. She's looking at them and she's like, why are you guys not really taking pictures of me? Okay. Um, so yeah, she's confused as to why no one is really paying attention to her. And one of the paparazzi say like to get her attention. And he tells her, Jay-Z told us not to take pictures of you. Right. Then Megan the Stallion comes in and there are thousands of flashes, you know, paparazzi flashing their, their camera um on uh on at whatever of on at megan the stallion okay everybody's taking pictures of megan all right now there's now seeing that there's something with jay-z trying to overshadow Nicki minaj with megan watch my videos okay it's something with jay-z being a ah uh, girl just watch the videos of just watch the videos all right so I asked Spirit, why don't they just have a conversation? Why why won't, you know, him and Nikki just, my dog, why won't him and Nikki just have a conversation? Like, why, why is it such a big thing, right? Spirit said, Nikki isn't open to having a conversation with him. It feels like there's a one-sided beef on Nikki's end and on Jay-Z's end, he doesn't view it as beef. He doesn't really care. It's more so if he views everybody's, he, he views everybody as a business, okay? And I talked about this numerous of times, all right? All right, so yeah, so there's a one-sided beef on Nikki's end. I have said numerous of times in my reading I did that I did on Jay-Z, Jay-Z is a businessman. He doesn't care about your feelings. He's looking to make profit off of anybody that he feels has substance, okay? It feels like Nikki feels angry and betrayed, but little does she know, or maybe Nikki knows, Megan is being used. He doesn't really care for Megan. She's being used, okay? If you guys see me looking like that baby from Toy Story when she like, when, she, when her eyes are a little crooked, girl, my lash glue is taking a long time to dry. Oh my God, not my lashes. Okay, I know you guys are like, girl, I'm sorry. We're going to have to rip it off. We're going to have to rip it off. I'm sorry. All right. So they show me a vision. So yeah, Megan is being used. They show me a vision of Jay-Z asking numerous of people to make sure certain people don't sign to Nikki's label. This is very interesting yet confusing to me. All right. It's okay for Jay-Z to sign whoever he wants to Rock Nation, but Nikki can't sign who she wants. This is weird because it almost feels like the industry is very divided and there are a bunch of bullies in the industry. It looks like, 
I'm sorry. It's like for a long time, like for me, right? For a long time, I started to feel like Nicki Minaj was a type of person where it's like, if you're her friend, you can be anybody else's friend, but it's really the opposite. And if Nicki comes across that way, it's because she has to, like, it feels like there are, they just said underlying issues. So issues that's happening behind the scenes like not in the public eyes okay um this is very interesting and before i continue i have to say there's something with jay-z has enough power to make you look mentally ill make you look crazy and glorify whoever's on his team okay this is very interesting they just said that okay i don't know why they just said that Anyways, all right, so what was I saying? All right, so for a long time, I started to feel like Nikki was a type of person where if you were her friend, you can't be anybody else's friend, but it's really the opposite. So let me explain. Energetically, it feels like Jay-Z has Nikki in a limited er area. It's like she's being sabotaged while he gets to do whatever he wants, okay? energetically because this is energy i have to say energetically it feels like people look at nikki as someone that is not a girl's girl and maybe that is the case however it feels like she has to not be a girl's girl because of the circumstances that she's dealt with okay and in my nikki minaj because i don't want to like smack in y'all ear all right but in my uh nikki minaj's reading i talk about how i don't feel like she's mean i just feel like in this industry she doesn't know if she can be cool with you or not because of the people you might be attached to all right she's very limited they just said secluded all right so all right jay-z right it, it feels like energetically he seems contradicting it's like Nikki is not allowed to not like people, all right? It's like she presents as territorial and only wants to and only wants you to be her friend, but it feels like Jay-Z is the same way too. All right? So it's a double standard. It's a double standard. It feels like who people feel like Nikki is, Jay-Z is, okay? Because they keep, it's so master manipulator, spirit keeps saying master manipulator. It's kind of like he has the power to put stuff in the blogs. Like, I don't know if, like, usually in order to gaslight somebody successfully, you got to be smart. In order to manipulate somebody, you have to be smart, right? In order to be a narcissist, you have to be smart, okay? To control someone, you have to be smart or they're just freaking dumb. But it feels like, like he's, it's easy for him to manipulate the media or manipulate people around him. Like, this is very interesting. This is very, very interesting. I'm sorry to just keep interrupting me. Um, but yeah. All right. So let's, let's continue. All right. So they keep, oh yeah. So it feels like Nikki presents as territorial and she only wants you to mess with her, but then it feels like Jay-Z is the same way too. It keeps allowing me to feel like Jay-Z and Nicki Minaj are the same when it comes to being business goal-driven. And that's why Jay-Z has an issue with her. It's kind of like, I want you to be better, but not better than me. I want you to make as much money as you can in the industry, but I don't want you to buy your own catalog because that means you've mastered the manipulator and i have a problem with that as a as a you know m mastermind of a manipulator okay um but it feels like nikki will never reach that status or not his status like with being a billionaire right but status more so of she'll, like it just feels like she'll never reach that because she's not allowed to it feels like she's being sabotaged it's kind of like when Michael Jackson, um, he played as the Scarecrow and the Wiz, and he talked to he's he's he sang song about how you can't win. If you're in a game where no matter what you do, how you play the game, you will never win. It, it's 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 no point. Okay, and we're gonna talk about why it feels like she's making a grand exit 
a little bit later because of this. All right, it's very exhausting. I just heard a spirit say it's very exhausting and I can kind of understand as to why it, or empathize as to why it would be exhausting. All right, um, but yeah, so they keep showing me visions of people hanging out with Nikki. They keep showing me visions of people hanging out with Nikki and then when they get home, their PR, assistant, manager, whatever, is telling them how they heard through the grapevine that you show, like, we heard through the grapevine that you shouldn't work with Nicki Minaj and then they stop working with her, all right? And I want to say, I'm not too educated on certain people not signing with her, but it feels like Nicki has unaware slash misdirected anger, but directed anger at the same time when it comes to those not signing with her or to her. I don't think she's aware of the people that are putting the batteries in those artists, artists' back, all right? All right. But at the same time, I guess she expects them to speak up for themselves, but it's like they're not, okay? It feels like they really believe what they're being told about Nikki, okay? So that's that's very interesting, all right? So long story short, the industry seems very flip-flop. I don't know what Nikki did to piss them off. Like this, like, like what's wrong? Like, did she not sign something? And trust me, I asked them. They would not answer, all right? They keep saying secluded. All right. So, so long story short, in this in the, in the industry, so I'm sorry. So long story short is the industry seems very flip flop, very one sided. It doesn't feel like you can have friends in the industry. Okay, everything is business, whether you like it or not. This is out. Of, this is how out of touch Jay Z is. It keeps showing me a vision of Jay Z and Beyonce in a car. Nicki Minaj is outside of the car. She's banging on the windows. She's cursing him out. Beyonce is acting. This is where I'm saying with the ditziness in Beyonce. And I'm not being funny. With the fawn, with the dumb, dumb, with the ditzy. I call it ditzy. Beyonce is acting like she can't hear her. Or maybe Beyonce is so media trained where, excuse me, where she's she is literally taught to just smile through it like i don't know she just seems every time i look at beyonce they show me a porcelain doll a porcelain doll okay honestly all right but anyways Nicki minaj is banging on the windows and she's cursing jay-z out beyonce is acting like she can't hear Nicki doing this all right and jay-z is acting like he doesn't know why Nicki is upset and i mentioned this plenty of times before of like his energy is like I didn't, I didn't over F you. Like, it's just business, right? All right. And I talked about this a lot as if he acts, I talked about this a lot with how he acts as if he didn't do anything wrong. And this is what I'm saying. In his head, it feels like it's not personal, it's business, okay? But sometimes, Jay-Z, how you go about things, and not just you, but in general, sometimes how you go about things can become very personal even if it's business all right it just feels like he's corrupted all right it, it really does all right so back to the vision they back to the vision of Nicki minaj banging on the windows and cursing him out he just in a vision he shakes his he like shrugs his shoulders and he he rolls up the window and says it's just business so he just he doesn't care all right so Nikki, if you're watching this, it feels like you've allowed your sensitivity to not necessarily consume yourself, not to con consume yourself, but, and that's my chair in the back, guys. I guess what I'm trying to say is you've allowed, you know how when people say don't let someone's negative energy consume you, it feels like she's allowed that to consume her, all right, all right? But I want to say you can't get mad at a cow for mooing. A cow is always going to moo. Or maybe you can get mad at a cow for mooing, all right? But a cow is never going to stop mooing, all right? It feels like you've, and energetically, it feels like you've allowed your loyalty to overlook your discernment. Now, I'm not saying she doesn't have discernment. But what I'm saying is, you know how when you have a best friend and you love her so much and you're so loyal to her, and even though you feel like, she kind of is talking about you. You still allow your loyalty to uh, be more uh, present than discernment. 
all right so yeah so you've allowed your loyalty to overlook nikki you've allowed your loyalty to overlook your discernment it feels like jay-z has always been this way all right so i'm saying you can't get mad at a cow for mowing a cow is always going to move or f it get mad all right it's just unfortunate because it feels like energetically you you've never like you never would have imagined that this would happen to you and it's happening all right they just said the streets don't love you and now there's but now they're crossing out the word streets and they're saying the industry yeah absolutely but i do see some type of truths coming out and it's going to go into your favor sorry my eye my lashes just keep getting stuck but I do see a lot of truths coming out and it is going to go into your favor. But I still think you'll be at odds with the industry. <laughs> they show me a vision of Beyonce and Jay-Z. Then they said Ponzi scheme. Ponzi scheme. All right. Then they said Ponzi scheme versus Nicki Minaj. I have no idea what they mean by that. Can somebody in the comments let me know what you think spirit means by Ponzi scheme, how Jay-Z and Beyonce are a Ponzi scheme. Like, please make it make sense for me. Honestly, as a, I call myself a baby medium, a baby psychic. I'm still figuring things out. I'm very, I know what Ponzi scheme means, but what like, somebody please let me know. All right. But yeah, so I do want to say, with because i know what ponzi scheme means but i do want to say being that they said how beyonce and jay-z are a ponzi scheme i want to say energetically this sucks for megan the stallion because she's incredibly talented but it sucks to be a back burner intuitive what do you mean that's my intuitive what do you mean here we go why is my laptop Intuitive, what do you mean by it sucks to be a back burner, the back burner? Why are you saying that Megan is a back burner? What I mean by this is imagine you're in the fifth grade and a boy that you've always had a crush on approaches you and he's like, hey, you're pretty. Can you go out with me? And you say yes. But little do you know, he's only asking you out because the girl that he was interested in didn't say yes to him asking her out so your second option your second choice you are the back burner it's like making fried chicken big mac and yams let's say you're not really a fan of yams so you just eat the fried chicken and the big mac and you know that direct deposit ain't hit you thought it would hit at 12 it ain't hit so now your ass is forced to eat them yams. Megan, you're the yams. All right, and that's very unfortunate. That's very unfortunate, all right? It's very unfortunate. So what I'm saying is Nikki was the chicken and the fried chicken and the macaroni, and Megan is the yams, okay? But now, this is just very unfortunate when you think about it because it's like, damn, like, Anyways, let me continue and then I'll add my two little cents. Spirit said feud. A feud will be happening very soon. I don't know who, where, what, how. Maybe an online argument will happen. Or maybe Nikki will get to a point where she'll just start exposing everybody in the industry. It kind of feels like there's a farewell in her energy. I don't know how many contracts she has left. I don't really know how the music industry works, but it feels like she is going to be bowing out very soon when it comes to the industry. They keep showing me her bowing, all right? I'm not seeing retirement, but I'm also seeing retirement. She feels, they just said completion. They just said 75%. Something feels very done in her energy, okay? It feels like a retirement when it comes to the industry, right? So maybe she might still put out music. Maybe she'll still engage with her fans. Maybe when it comes to going to, or maybe when it comes to going to the red carpet, she'll decline. It's something with people asking her, hey, can you come to the Grammys? Can you come to the Oscars? Can you come to this? And she's saying no. Like, it feels like she's done. 
it feels like she's done with the industry's military mind games. What does military mind games mean? My my cousin is a Marine and he was saying how military mind games is like to it's like manipulation, like a sergeant was screaming in your face. You you can't you can't run like I don't know what they did in basic combat training, whatever it's called. You can't run, you fat, you can't run, you can't run, but you could really run and you're not really feeling like they're trying to get in your head, okay? Now I know you guys are like, what what is this? Like, what is this? And like, like, why are we, why are we, you know, what is this about Jay-Z? Like, okay, so how, why is it just a Nikki and Jay-Z thing? Why isn't it an industry thing with, with Nikki? It is an industry thing with Nikki, but Jay-Z plays a huge part, okay? Jay-Z, so this is what I wrote, seen and felt in the visions. Jay-Z is literally trying to become the next Clive Davis, okay? Now he's trying to they so say that again, Spirit. I don't know what they're saying right now. Hold on, sorry. Recruit. Okay. All right. Um it, it he is recruiting people or trying to recruit people. Like, you know, with Clive Davis, he had a bunch of artists, right? But artists is artists, whatever. But it's like more so of not really Jay-Z wants to have a lot of artists or artists, whatever. Please correct me in the comments because I would hate to be saying artists and it's really artists or artists and artists, but um, it feels like he doesn't care to have a lot of artists, a lot of artists. It's more so of the power. Clive has a lot of power. All right. So Jay-Z is literally trying to become the next Clive Davis. He's trying to be the one that is at the top of the pyramid in the pyramid in the music industry. He will do any and everything to get there. And it feels like being that being that he is like a Clive Davis, he has a say so in what happens in the industry. All right. Now in my Clive Davis's reading, Davis reading, I talk about how there are only three doors to get into the music industry. And behind all of those three doors is Clive Davis or an attachment to Clive Davis to where, or a connection uh, to Clive Davis. So either way, you have to get through Clive Davis, okay? All right, and it's very interesting because last night I was on TikTok and um, Beyonce has a, not a movie, but a documentary, whatever. And she was she was saying how she's scared to, you know, show her label the songs. And um it was something with she was scared about getting clearance because there's she she said something like, You can only get your music cleared by six people. And then it reminded me of what Six Nine said when he was saying how the music industry is rigged. And uh what's the name? I was about to say alkaline. Academics was saying it well, Six Nine was telling academics how uh, there are literally about seven people. Now he said a different number, like seven to ten people, where they have to hear your music before it hits the radio. He's like, don't think you're hearing like so many people, you know, are can say, oh yeah, you can, you can, you know, put, you can, yeah, you know, like this music, this song is cleared. Like it's only a handful of people. So this is very interesting, and it's just as uh confirming what I've seen. All right, um. Anyways, what was I saying? Where am I at? All right, yeah, so either way, all right, so let me hold up, hold up, bring it back, come, rewind. In my Clive Davis reading, Davis's reading, I talk about how there are only three doors to get into the industry, and behind all three doors, it's Clive Davis or connection to Clive Davis. So either way, you have to get through Clive Davis, right? And it feels like whatever Jay-Z says, or like, what it's like whatever Jay-Z does or has done created a dispute between him and Nikki. Then they show me a vision of Megan laughing at all of this. And then Spirit said, Do doing time and then two years. Okay, because they're speaking to me right now and it's a little bit confusing. All right. 
So they showed me a vision of Megan laughing at all of this. And then Spirit said in two years. So once again, watch my Megan Thee Stallions reading and even my Jay-Z reading. It's something with Megan is going to receive her karma for whatever situation she's going to receive her karma for. And it's something with Jay-Z being attached to a lawsuit. It feels like if it is attached to Diddy, I don't know who it's attached to, but let's say it's someone is going to be, someone is going to put Jay-Z's name in it. The energy that I'm getting well, when it comes to this lawsuit is F it. If they going, if they going to put me in that lawsuit, I'm going to put your name in that shit too. I'm not going to be the only motherfucker going down. You going down too. I don't know who this is. All right. I don't know. I don't know who this is, okay? I don't know who this is, but, hey, okay. all right. So once again, they show me a vision of Megan laughing at this, then Spirit said in two years, all right? Now, this is interesting because am I, oh, yes, I already read that. All right, so Spirit showed me a vision. Are you ready for this? Spirit showed me a vision of Megan the Stallion eating sushi. She's eating sushi and she's getting, she's like, she's eating sushi. She's, she's dressing herself. She's getting ready to meet up with her friend to buy more jewelry. It's something with her wanting to go shopping. Keep this in mind, shopping, money. All right, so she's getting dressed. She's, you know, doing what she has to do to get ready. And she receives a knock at the door. She opens the door and a tall, mean looking security guard says, get out. Your time is up. And Megan is confused by this, okay? He says, pack your things. We're done with you. So it feels like, and then Spirit just said, Maleficent, Maleficent. All right, so so, so are you saying something Maleficent will happen? Maleficent, okay. Um, what is Maleficent? What does that mean? Like something evil, right? Anyways, it feels like Jay-Z's karma will be attached to Megan. I mean, she's already going to go through her karma, but it feels like something will, they just said finale. Something will be final, okay? Um, but hey, unfortunately in life, when you hang out with a certain type of person, you become in alignment with what that person is and attracts. And unfortunately, she will be reaping what jay-z sold and what she also sold too okay oh gosh guys spirit said in the blink of an eye it'll all be over this is why you can't laugh at people because you never know when it's your time let me tell you something bitch god humbled me bitch and i've been gagging since it's it's not a good feeling I, i've never laughed at anybody i'm just going through my own girl but yeah just like be humble okay all right so spirit said in the blink of not that i haven't been humble i'm just okay whatever i want to be important that's why i mentioned myself um but spirit said in the blink of an eye it'll all be over all right so nikki will have a i told you so i told you so moment okay but it feels like people will still believe a lie all right lastly i do want to say the music industry feels done. Like finito, done, mama. Bye-bye. That's what it feels like to me. All right, so there might be an uproar about a bunch of catalogs being sold and a lot of artists being and feeling feeling betrayed about that. I just feel like the music, music industry is done. Like spirit keeps saying collateral damage. And I also feel like we as a collective are going to get to a point in our lives where we won't really tune into the BET awards, the Grammys. It just feels like something is officially over or about to become officially over. Bitch, I knew the motherfucking economy was, was dookie. When Jim Jones was, oh, these YouTubers is corny, they corny, these streamers is corny. Uh, these YouTubers, they corny, they blah, blah, blah. Bitch, guess who got a YouTube channel now? Jim Jones. You see how you got to be careful with what you say? And I don't even know why he pressed about the music industry, period, because 
Yo, he hasn't put out a song since I was eight. No lie, we fly up, we on it. Like, you know, like, girl, like, <laughs> you, you put that song out with you when I was eight, bitch. Wait, I'm 24. Okay? But that's all that I have for um, Nikki and Jay-Z. I'm going to say something. And I just, I just, I just want to say something, you know, I'm more of a Patti LaBelle, Tony, Tony Tone, you know, uh, baby face, Luther Vandross, you know, type of girly pop. I listen to a lot of Nicki and I'm, I'm somebody where I listen to the lyrics, but I dissect it. And didn't she say they got you all them Grammys, but your floor still in Who's they, Nikki? They got you all them Grammys. Mm. And I'm gonna end it like this. I mean, and I'm not even trying. I promise you, I'm not even trying to be funny. I know that probably, probably kind of gives that I'm a barb girl, but I'm gonna say this: Who oh, God bless no man can curse ever. What's done in the dark come to light. Come to light, like who oh, God bless no man can curse ever. And Nikki. I don't really know what you're going through. I can only pick up certain information, right? But I know what it's like for everybody to be against you. I'm sorry, that's my eyelashes is not, it's still drying. I know what it's like for everybody to be against you. Like I like I did at times, especially with my family, where I cried because I'm like, I feel like I'm out here fighting this battle by myself. Like, what? Like, like have you ever been in a situation where like, yo, am I the only one peeping this shit? Like, you know what? I I feel for you, man. But what what did you say? Who oh, God bless no man can curse ever. Well, Nikki, if you are transitioning out of this industry, thank you for honestly paving the way and setting setting the tune, the tone, whatever, bitch. And bitch, shout out to you. Bitch, when you first, this was when, this was, bitch, when you ain't really had no money like that. Bitch, my mother came to your show. This is when you had the beauty supply store wig, you know, that. Bitch, when you ain't really had no money. Bitch, my mother came to your show and you signed her boob. And I still have the picture. This is what, I think 2008, I will forever love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. One of a kind. Okay. I have to really give my, cause you never know where who this video is gonna who this video gonna land into, and I just have to say, if you see this, I really gotta say thank you for what you've done. You know, it it it's not it's not easy it's not easy, but thank you. And that's all that I have, guys. Uh, forty dollars for a picture reading, seventy. And I want to say, guys, I'm not biased at all. I just have to say that. But I have, but if she is making a grant grant exit. You never know. She might watch this motherfucking video because, bitch, you never know what, how, how my channel going to go. And I just have to say that because, you know, sometimes people need to know that they're loved, you know. But $40 for a picture reading, $72 for a 30-minute reading, and $144 for an hour. Now, reading with me. Thank you guys so much. Bye.